Hey guys. So, I never got back to you about what happened after the Ouija board that we did. Uh, well, we called up our friend and she told us how to get rid of it. Uh, you basically have to cleanse the board and then you have to bury it. So, we had to look up how to make holy water and all that fun stuff. And then, both her and I were like really like heating up and it it was getting like really hot um and it was weird so we just decided you know like let's look up some prayers and uh put the holy water on ourselves and um it was it made it better but it wasn't okay until after we buried the Ouija board um, and once we did that, we completely cooled off. Um, she had this pain that was, like, in the back of her neck. And then that went away, like, as soon as we buried it. Um, we also noticed that there was, like, a lot of flies around. Um, especially when we were burying it. And, like, they were just buzzing around, like, heck close. Uh, and those went away. After we buried it. Um, so, Yeah. We were complete idiots when we did it, but we made sure to stay safe. We didn't let things continue if we knew what was going to, if we had a feeling of what was going to happen, especially with the Zozo, we didn't really let it continue trying to do what it was trying to do. Um, whenever we noticed it was trying to go backwards in the alphabet or with the numbers, we would interrupt it with a new question, um, things like that. Um... So, or we would just completely end the game and then sit for a while. Um, but yeah, uh, just if you guys do want to do a Ouija board and play with one, never play alone. Even if it asks you to, never do. Because it asked us if we wanted to play alone. We did a couple more games off camera and it wanted both her and I to play alone. Um, and it actually responded a lot more. It told us that it liked her, it wanted to hurt me. Um, just continuing on from that. Um, and, uh, it, it was really weird. It was very... It, it, it was just weird. Um, but yeah. If you guys want to play with a Ouija board, you know, look up things, you know, like, oh, if you think something shouldn't be happening, you know, like, never ask it to show itself or give you a sign of where it is. Um... You know, um, don't ask it things like when it's going to die when, or when you're going to die, stuff like that. And, um, you know, uh, and the board, the spirit or whatever, it won't tell you, it doesn't always tell you the truth. So, you know, a lot of times we would ask it things and immediately after I'd ask it if it was lying or not and it would tell us yes or no um and of course you can't always tell if that's the truth either so you know never go in you know like oh if you're looking for a specific person you know um and you think you're talking to them you may not be um and you know if it wants to count down backwards in the alphabet or the or count down backwards the numbers don't let it just that's how it can get out. Um, so yeah, just, uh, if you're gonna do a Ouija board, uh, just know what to look out for and be safe. Um, if you do feel like something is still around after the game, um, then, uh, there is, like, there is ways that you can look up to make, uh, holy water or, um, or just, like, if you are a religious person, you can have prayers that you can look up. Um, they have ways for, uh, to, you, like, if you're, 
someone who believes with crystals. They have stuff like that. Um, they have pagan stuff, um, from what I've seen. So, you know, um, just whatever you're believing in, um, I'd go for that. Uh, when looking up how to cleanse the board and, um, if you need to cleanse the place that you were playing the Ouija board at. I mean, unless it was, like, an abandoned place, then, you know, that's kind of self-explanatory as to why you're getting the things you're getting. Because I'm sure that there's a lot of dead people probably there. Same as... Oh, you're also never supposed to play in a cemetery. Never. So, yeah, just stay safe, guys. Bye.